So even though Eratosthenes and Archimedes were both spending a lot of time thinking about the Earth, and in fact, the Earth's circumference, Eratosthenes, it seems, had an advantage. So because he was so well-traveled, Eratosthenes knew that here in Siena, the sun's rays struck vertically on the summer solstice, which happens on about June 21st or the 22nd. Uh, he knew this because these, these rays of the sun actually made it all the way to the bottom of the well, which wouldn't happen if they were coming in at some other angle. He also knew that in a city a little bit north of Siena, called Alexandria, the sun's rays did not strike exactly vertically. He knew this because he could hold a metal bar or any other straight object vertically so that it pointed directly into the ground at Alexandria. And if the sun were overhead, this shouldn't cast any shadow. But it did. Turned out this actually made a small shadow. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. It looks like to solve this problem, we're going to need to really explore the geometry involved. And since we use geometry all the time in physics, now's a good time to learn, or if you already know, review some of the basics. So let's back up a bit. 